good morning everyone i am dr bhavita today is my topic for paper presentation is diagnostic criteria of mri in differentiating benign and malignant ovarian masses introduction uh, ovarian neoplasms are the fifth most common type of cancers in terms of affected population it has worse, worse prognosis and highest mortality rate with low survival rate it has asymptomatic cause delayed onset of symptoms and lack of proper screening uh, ultrasound is the first line imaging investigation for suspected ovarian lesion as it is convenient low cost and highly sensitive in detecting adnexal lesions however this technique has low specificity in differentiation of benign and malignant masses ct images it reflects the tissue characteristic but it involves higher radiation and resolution of ct images is lower than that of the mri images mri because of its superior soft tissue contrast and direct multiplanar capabilities can better delineate and characterize normal uterine anatomy and focal and diffuse uterine conditions aim of this study was to assess the diagnostic accuracy of the mri in differentiating benign and malignant ovarian masses objective uh, was to evaluate mr imaging features in detection and characterization of ovarian masses and to specify the accuracy of mri in differentiating benign and malignant ovarian masses methodology inclusion criteria was uh, the all the patients with clinically suspected adnexal and pelvic masses were included uh, patients who were report uh, referred to the department of radio diagnosis and patients of all age groups exclusion criteria was the patients who have underwent treatment for ovarian masses patients who has uh, implant in, metallic implants cardiac pacemakers and co cochlear implants patients with non neoplastic ovarian conditions such as pcos to ovarian abscess and follicular cyst and the patient with metastasis to ovary from primary of non ovarian origin and patients with claustrophobia uh, patients with suspicious of adnexal masses ovarian lesions were screened on usg and then out like this like around 36 patients fulfilling the inclusion and exclusion criteria were included then all these patients selected were subjected to mri and these images were analyzed and the result of these images and the results of the uh, histopath and cytopath reports were correlated uh, observation and results of the studies distribution of study uh, subjects according to the age um, according to age most of the cases were between 41 to 50 years of which eight were of malignant and six were benign cases and the rest of the cases were between 31 to 40 and 51 to 60 and 61 to 65 age group for few distribution of subjects according to the laterality of the ovarian masses out of 100% like 55% of the cases were unilateral and 44% of cases were bilateral and then the distribution of subjects according to the size of the ovarian masses uh, most of the cases were between 5 to 10 cm of which uh, 19 uh cases were benign and eight cases were uh, malignant distribution of subjects according to mri features and its finding uh, like almost all the most of the malignant cases showed irregular margins thick wall thick septa vegetation solid portions uh, they were present in the ascites and lymphadenopathy a uh, few benign cases have uh, showed the similar features like of uh, malignant features distribution of subjects according to mri features and its uh, finding uh, according to t1 weighted signal images around 68% of the malignant cases and 82% of the benign cases showed t1 hypo intensity and around 70% of the benign cases and 73% of the malignant cases showed hyper intensity on t2 uh, around 68% of the malignant cases showed uh, high dwi and corresponding low adc Uh, and around forty-one percent of the benign cases and sixty-three percent of the malignant cases showed septal and and lobule enhancement. Distribution of subjects uh, according to MRI findings and histopathological findings. Out of thirty-six cases, seventeen cases were benign and nineteen cases were proved to be uh, were uh, found to be malignant in on MRI. And when this uh, in, when this case patients were underwent histopath. out of 17 uh, 15 benign 15 cases were found to be benign and uh, two cases were found to be malignant and 19 cases that were found to be malignant on mri were actually uh, malignant on histopath also 
So the diagnostic indices of MRI in differentiating benign ovarian masses was like MRI was 100% uh, sensitive and 90.48% specific and it has 94.4% of accuracy to determine a lesion to be benign. And MRI was 90.48% sensitive and 100% specific with 94.2% accuracy to differentiate the lesion to be malignant. The current study was conducted to assess the diagnostic accuracy of MRI in distinguishing benign and malignant ovarian masses, of which 36 subjects were clinically suspected adnexal and pelvic masses, and uh, of which the mean age was between 49 years and majority belonged to between 41 to 50 years of age group. The maximum number of women of uh, between 20, uh, maximum number of women uh, had unilateral ovarian masses that were of 20 cases and 16 cases showed uh, bilateral uh, masses as well as the size distribution of the lesions reflecting reflects the heterogeneity of the ovarian masses and uh, bilateral cancers often demonstrate increased in invasiveness into surrounding structure in comparison to the unilateral masses additionally the limited invasiveness observed in unilateral lesions typically correlates with the lower rates of residual tumors or missed lesion the presence of bilateral masses often signifies synchronous tumorogenesis and metastasis from one side to other Regarding the MRI findings, certain patterns were observed that distinguished benign from malignant lesions, like hypointense T1 signals were more frequently found in malignant lesions, whereas hyper intense T2 weighted signals were more commonly found in benign lesions. And this, re this results are reliable with earlier studies also. And uh, high DWI signal with low ADC values were more prevalent in malignant lesions, whereas benign lesions exhibited a wider range of DWI and ADC characteristics, which is comparable with the previous studies. But this results underscores the potential of DWI and ADC mapping as adjuncts to conventional MR sequences and differentiation of ovarian masses. Uh, furthermore, the existence of septal and robial enhancements were more commonly observed in malignant lesions. And this observation were inconsistent with the histopath features of malignant ovarian tumors, which often exhibit complex internal structure characterized by septation and solid components. Uh, according to this study, MRI was found to be 90.48% sensitive and 100% specific with the accuracy of 94.4% in distinguishing benign and malignant ovarian masses. Uh, these are my references. Thank you.